Welcome to the HJ Talks About Abuse podcast, the podcast where we talk about sexual abuse cases in the hope that it will assist listeners in openly discussing topics which have been ignored for too long. This podcast is brought to you by the abuse team at Hugh James. We are lawyers, so we tend to speak about the legal aspects of abuse cases, but we aren't too shy to speak up about the broader issues faced by survivors of sexual abuse too. We hope that you find it interesting, but more than that, if you are a survivor of sexual abuse, we hope that you find our discussion empowering. Hello, podcast listeners. My name is Alan Collins. I'm the partner who heads up the abuse team at Hugh James, and I'm joined by my colleague, Danielle Vincent. Hi, Danny. Hi, Alan. As always, we give a little health warning at the introduction of our podcast because the subject matter can be upsetting and disturbing. And so if you feel that you might be upset or disturbed by the content of this podcast, now's the time to look away and go off and make yourself a cup of tea or do something else. But having listened to that health warning, you want to stay with us. We're delighted to have you. So welcome as always. And Danny, I'm going to hand over to you because it's your idea for this podcast to talk about sex in the city and Chris Knopf. Yeah, that's right. So I think it was early November, late November, there was an initial report that Chris Knopf had sexually assaulted a female. Now, this was from, from some time ago. Around this time, it was when the Sex and the City reboot was happening called Just Like That. So there was a lot of press about the cast members. This was a show that ran from sort of 1998 stopped there were films I think early 2000 but nothing much else and then there's been lots and lots of press this was a big reboot of the main cast members and he was one of the cast members and around the same time somebody came forward regarding a sexual assault in 2004 and then very shortly after a second person came forward regarding a sexual assault in 2015. At the time that we're recording this there are four allegations by by four separate women of sexual assault. Um, we should emphasize, so to interrupt, that they're allegations because I think yeah. he denies any wrongdoing and that anything that may or may not have happened was apparently consensual and not illegal. Yeah, so that is really important to say. I, again, we're discussing this about what is in the press. So in the press at the moment, he has confirmed that he had two consensual relationships with, with, with two of the women. But already the fallout from this is that he can't give any spoilers in regards to the show but he, he's not going to be ongoing in the show anyway but he's been dropped from some big work that he's been doing he was doing advertising for Peloton he's been dropped from that but it's such a big story and I, I think that this is going to be similar to other things that we've seen in the past where a celebrity or a big name one person comes forward and then there are a number of other women that this has happened to that perhaps haven't come forward before because as I say the first account is from 2004 so some time ago but I do think that this case is going to again rumble on and I think there's going to be a lot more people that are coming forward in this one. Okay well that's interesting because you know we've had a whole series of these celebrity cases over recent years and they bring up all sorts of interesting ethical and legal questions and you know as practitioners what we're always looking at isn't it is because we're having to practice in England and Wales we've got limitation laws and quite strict limitation laws and the limitation period is basically three years you've got three years to bring a case and if you're out of time you're out of time unless and that's what we're always looking at you know the unless can we you know successfully bring a case against whoever or whatever outside that three-year time period you know when we're advising people who um, come to us for advice that is you know one of the dominant issues that we're having to contend with and um, sometimes you know we have to say sorry it's for whatever reason you know that time bar is is going to stay and I judge is not going to lift it or no celebrity no and and when these things come out there's always some backstory that has come out so when when this story came out well these allegations came out it was reported in the press that it had a restraining order and had physically assaulted a girl from previously years before in the 90s so the press have, have run with that already 
But yes, I think this is going to be something that we are going to be talking about probably throughout the years over the next couple of months. It was, you know, surprising to some extent. I thought that this actress worked alongside three very well-known actresses that came forward and said, you know, their quote was, we support the women who have come forward and shared their painful experiences. And I thought that was quite, the quote did, I couldn't really read the quote, whether they were saying they support any woman that had been sexually assaulted or whether there was some background to it. But yeah, I'm sure many people have grown up with this actor and, you know, fell in love with the character that he had in Sex and the City. And it may be a surprise to many that that the allegations have been brought against him. But as I say, I think there will be more to come on there. Yeah along with other high-profile stories that are Mm. currently featured in the media. Yes, interesting times, maybe for the wrong reasons, but interesting times. As always, listeners, thank you for tuning in and listening to our podcast. If you have any concerns, queries or suggestions, then please do get in touch. And thanks for listening and thanks, Danny. Thank you for listening to this episode of HJ Talks About Abuse. You can subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, Spotify, or your favorite podcast player. If you'd like to speak to us about something you've heard today, we'd love to hear from you. Email us at aboutabuse at hjtalks.co.uk.